Well, global share markets continue to look pretty soft right now. And last week on Friday, US and European markets all fell. And it's no wonder considering what is happening around the world at the moment. It seems like over the weekend out of the US market, we haven't seen any resolution yet for their debt crisis. And this is going to continue to plague markets in the early part of this week until we start to see some decision making. And this is having a big impact on us here at home. Right now, we're not too sure what impact it will have on the interest rate markets, but currently it's having a big, a big impact on the New Zealand dollar. Of course, the Kiwi dollar has been riding high, and when I checked early on Monday morning, we're starting to ride high against the US dollar once again, trading at around 87.75 against the US and 53.50 against the Great British Pound. And I suspect we're going to be well supported until we start to see markets settle down on the international stage. Well, there's one market back here at home in New Zealand that is likely to be impacted the most by the high New Zealand dollar, and that is the beef market. Over the past couple of weeks, we have started to see beef schedule prices slip just slightly, and they're currently around 10 to 15 cents higher than they were in 2010. And I'm picking that we could see some short-term weakness, even though the long-term fundamentals for the beef industry are looking pretty sound at the moment. And that is because over in the US, we are starting to see some supply coming through the market due to their drought. And this is going to mean some impacts in the short term on supply as this, as this product really comes through the supply chain. This could have some negative impacts on prices. But in the long term, the US beef industry is still very short of supply. And over the next two to three years, I think this will be positive for prices, in particular for prices back here at home in New Zealand.